Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alfie, aka Quantum Kaza. But for this video, you might as well call me Johnny Bravo. How you doing, beautiful? Did you know my eyes are amazing? <laughs> In this video, I'm taking you to three of my most recommended coffee shops for dates. But before we get into that, let's set the mood. Boom. A little bit of red to show the love is in love the air. Yeah. Might as well just light a little candle, you know what I mean? Don't play with fire at home, it's, it's dangerous. We're gonna put that back there, um, so it just gives like an atmosphere, you know? Ooh. So the coffee shops I'm gonna be recommending to you guys are not ranked at all in any order. They are all completely different because I wanted to give you a variety of coffee shops for your dates, you know what I mean? Okay, the first coffee shop that I'm going to be recommending for your faces is a little coffee shop in Soho, just off Brewery Street. It's called Hideaway Coffee, and it is in fact hidden away down a little alleyway where you'll find a coffee shop at the end, Hideaway Coffee. One of the reasons why it's on this list of top places to go on a date, it's super quiet, you can't be disturbed by the oncoming traffic or random people screaming on the street. You get that in London, there's a lot of people always screaming for some reason. One of the things that is super important when you go on a coffee shop date is the coffee has to be good and I can't recommend Hideaway Coffee enough for their good coffee. The coffee is just amazing. Other than the coffee being amazing at Hideaway Coffee, when you're sitting inside and looking out into the courtyard, they've got these fairy lights or Christmas lights, whatever you want to call them. They're inside the bushes and because in the winter months it gets darker early, it just gives a whole romantic winter vibe which makes you feel all snug inside and which I think is perfect for a date. If you're going out for a coffee in the early evening and you're just sitting in there chatting looking out into the courtyard it's very it's very feng shui and moving on to the second coffee shop date location it's a coffee shop called farm girl calf and unlike hidden coffee it is a very bright vibrant comfortable location and this is why i recommend it for a date because unlike Hideaway Coffee, it's not as silent, it's quite a popular coffee shop, so there's normally a lot of people there. But if you do manage to get a seat, it's super comfortable, it's super welcoming, and the coffee is just amazing. There's loads of lights and plants inside this coffee shop, which give it a nice homey feel, and it makes you feel welcome when you're sitting in there just vibing. The thing that separates Farm Girl from Hideaway Coffee is that one is actually very quiet, secluded, out of the way, and Farm Girl Calf, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. It's very vibrant, it's full of people, it has lots of life, you know what I mean? I'm not saying Hideaway Coffee hasn't got any life, I'm just saying that they're two different like date locations with two different vibes, if you understand what I'm saying. If you want to experience this, I suggest go on a date there yourself and you'll know what I'm saying. Because right now it sounds like for me that I'm just waffling. But my recommendation is to go Farm Girl Cow for a date. Because it's a very Instagrammable, colourful, comfortable, amazing coffee shop for a date. You know, you know what I mean? And moving on to the third coffee shop date location, which I'm recommending to you guys, is called the Soho Grind. And you've probably heard of the name Grind before, because Grind is a mainstream independent kind of coffee shop. There's multiple stores around London, but this specific one I'm recommending because I just think it's a perfect date location. One, because it's a very welcoming, comfy, snug kind of coffee shop, but it's like, I think, how I put it into words, the Soho grind, the grind in general, is between Hideaway Coffee and Farm Girl. It's vibrant, yet snug and quiet, if you know what I mean. It's, it's a mix of both worlds, and that is why the Soho grind is getting put into this coffee shop dates recommendation for your faces, because I just think it's a perfect date location, all in all. I've been there on dates myself, couple times and it's just a vibe the coffee is amazing the whole like vibe like the lights the illuminous they've got an illuminous but they've got an illuminous sign which gives this nice like comforting snug vibe it makes it feel nice and warm inside and personally especially on these winter nights that's what you want to feel when you're sitting in a coffee shop you don't want to be sitting in a coffee shop where it just feels stale and like uncomfortable the soho grind makes you feel very comfortable and the amazing thing about the soho grind which i think is just it's a perfect just a perfect idea for a date location is it serves coffee but at a certain time in the early evening, they start selling cocktails and alcoholic beverages, which 
if you do fancy a cheeky espresso martini, um, <laughs> it's available. Um, which I think is just, it's a, it's a brilliant idea and I don't even know what else to say. Like, it's a good date location. I was actually contemplating if I was gonna put this into the video, but I thought I'd give you guys two of my like, you know, ideal dates, what I like. It's in the list. You know, everyone's got like a, a list of like dates they'd actually go on. Basically, these are two of my like hands down amazing dates that I'm gonna be giving to you because why not? Sharing is caring after all. Basically, if you go to Camden, well, more or less Kentish Town Station, there's a coffee shop just on the corner. Grab a coffee, hot coffee. Coffee is hot, but you know what I mean. Grab a hot drink and then basically make your way up to Primrose Hill. And if you pick the timing right, you can get to Primrose Hill with your date, with your hot drink, just when the sun is setting. And then you can sit up there with your hot drink, conversate and watch the sunset over London. And for me, that's just like, it's an ideal little date there. <laughs> and the other date that I'm gifting to you guys is you can grab a coffee from a coffee shop called FCB Coffee. I don't know when they close, but they do close around the early evening because that's the time independence close. But if not, my recommendation is go to Pret because Pret is the best mainstream coffee you're going to get. Unless you fancy a Starbucks hot chocolate, but you do you. Grab a hot drink wherever. But Get a hot drink early evening and take a nice stroll down South Bank. Because during the winter, there's loads of lights and it's just, it's very romantic. It's very nice, you know. It's a nice walk of a hot drink with your date down the South Bank. But yeah, they're my two tier list dates that I just highly recommend. They're nice dates. They're very feng shuiable, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. If you've stayed this long and you like some of these dates and if you've tried some of these dates, let me know in the comments because I do enjoy doing these videos. They're a little different to what I normally do. They're a bit more chilled and relaxed, but I liked it. And if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. See you Love later. Love is playing with my dopamine. Serotonin be corrupting me.